What's up everybody? It is a new day, it's a new workout. Today we're gonna do 90-30 EMOM. So we're gonna do 90 seconds on top of the board and do 30 seconds on, top, on the bottom of the board. And we're gonna do that for four rounds. We're gonna do three boards like that today with a one minute rest in between. And today, these are gonna be a little bit slower paced, a little bit more focused strength training workouts with some yoga. We're gonna get our zen on today. So let's go through the first board and talk about what we're doing. In the first board, we're gonna start off with a stationary lunge. You're gonna use a weight for these, so you're gonna use a dumbbell. Remember, stationary lunge is a lunge without a step, so you're not stepping every single time or lunging every time, or stepping forward or stepping backwards. You, you know what I mean, okay? So stationary lunge, you're straddling that mat, dumbbell up in your chest, touch your knee on the ground, and uh, bring it back up. So 10 on each side for those. When you're done with those, you have a squat thruster. Again, dumbbell up in your chest, squat down, stand up, press up, full extension every time. 10 of those, and then you're gonna do that sumo deadlift for the rest of the time. So you're gonna hold wide stance, hold the dumbbell with two hands, keep your legs straight, leaning forward. So 90 seconds to do three exercises. This should give you a pretty good idea how you should pace these exercises. Plenty of time to get through all these. So if you can about imagine, they should take you about 30 seconds each. That way you can adjust your weight and your pace and your tempo. So if you find yourself getting ahead, grab a heavier weight or slow down. If you're getting behind, either speed it up or grab a lighter weight. When you're done with the top part, we're gonna do that bottom exercise. For today, what you're gonna do? For 30 seconds, you're gonna hold that, uh, that yoga pose for the entire time. So we're gonna start with that warrior two pose. Again, with the warrior two pose, what you're gonna do is one foot forward, that front knee is bent, the back leg is straight, and it basically holding a sta uh, stationary lunge, or kind of a quarter lunge, hands up in front of you, like so. So, what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna alternate legs on each round. So round one, put your right foot forward, round two, put your left foot forward, and alternate, and so on and so forth, okay? 90 on top, 30 on bottom, one minute rest. You got this, let's go. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, grab that dumbbell. You're holding the dumbbell up in your chest, straddling that mat, touching your knee down on that mat, bring that knee back up. 10 on each side. Again, each exercise should take you about 30 seconds or so. Uh, don't worry if you go over by five or under by five, whatever, you, you kind of get the idea. Slower pace workout, a little bit more of a strength training workout. If you're too fast, too slow, adjust the weight, adjust the speed uh, as needed, okay? We're about 30 seconds in, you should be pretty close to getting 10 lunges on each side. When you're done with those lunges, again, squat thruster, hold that dumbbell up in your chest, squat down, get your butt down as low as you can, and stand up and press up full extension above your head. Remember, lock those elbows up when you're going above your head, no half reps. When you're done with those squat thrusters, you should be getting pretty close to those. You got that sumo deadlift for the rest of the time. Again, that sumo deadlift is a wide stance, toes pointed out, keep your legs straight, your back straight, and you're hinging in your hips. You're leaning forward. You're not allowing your lower back to roll or upper back to roll forward. No cat stretches here. 10 seconds, keep doing those sumo deadlifts. Keep going, go all the way to the end. Now you're in that warrior two pose. Again, front foot forward, back foot's in a neutral position, so it should be facing side to side. That front knee is bent, and you're leaning, you're leaning that knee over top of that toe. Hands up in front of you, you're just holding that position there, nice and strong, sinking into that lunge position. Again, back foot should stay neutral, meaning that it's pointing uh, away to the, pointed to the wall. <whistles> holding that there, nice work, stationary lunge. 10 on each side. This should feel good, doing that warrior two and then going right into lunges. It's not my first rodeo, so. Get that knee down to the mat, 10 on each side. I imagine as we go along with these lunges, it's gonna, your legs are gonna get tired, it's gonna get harder to get through those lunges in 30 seconds, but push it. You can push the uh, pace a little bit when you start getting tired. That's what you're here for. You're trying to get 
better at what you're doing. You're about 30 seconds in, she could get, get pretty close to those squat thrusters when you're done with those lunges. Again, squat thruster, dumbbell in the chest. Get your butt down as low as you can. Stand up full extension above your head. 10 of those. You have about 30 seconds left. You should get pretty close to those sumo deadlifts. Wide stance, toes pointed out. Keep your legs or knees straight and you're hinging in your hips. Not allowing that lower back to roll forward. You should be pulling in the back of your hamstrings. You should be standing up straight every single time. Getting a nice, good deadlift. Nice work, into that warrior two again. This time, do the other leg. You start with your left foot forward, do your right foot forward. Right toe, if you're doing your right foot forward, your right toe should be facing forward or straight ahead of you. And your back foot should be in a neutral position. It should be going kind of side to side, facing the opposite way of your front foot. Back leg should be straight. Front knee should be bent and you're leaning forward. Nice work, stationary lunge. Grab that dumbbell, weight up in your chest, get your knee down. 10 on each leg. Don't worry if your legs are getting tired. The next board is gonna be mostly arms and then the last board will be legs again. We're gonna hit the legs a little hard today. It's, but it's a slower pace, it's a different pace. There's no jumping today, no burpees. Just a nice, good weight training workout. When you're done with those lunges, you've got those squat thrusters again. Get that butt down. If you don't have a ball or a target to squat down to, the goal here is to get your butt below your knees without rolling forward too far. If your chest ends up like over top of your toes or in front of your toes, don't do that. <laughs> Keep your chest back, get your butt down, stand up full extension, 10 of those squat thrusters, and then sumo deadlifts for the rest of the time. Ten seconds, keep going. Nice work. Back to the warrior two. Front foot facing forward, bending that front knee. Back leg should be straight, back foot should be in a neutral position opposite of your front foot. Arms extended out in front of you, you're leaning over that knee, sinking into that lunge. Hold it there all the way to the end. Nice work. One more time, stationary lunge. Grab that dumbbell, dumbbell up in your chest. Get that knee down to the mat. Bring it back up, 10 on each side. Are your legs warmed up yet? They should be. Thirty seconds down. Should be getting pretty close to getting done with those lunges. When you're done with those lunges, ten squat thrusters. I know you're starting to get tired. This is kind of a grinding workout. Get your butt down again. We're looking to get our butt down below our knees. Keep that chest up. Make sure you're not leaning forward when you squat down. And then stand up and press up. Full extension every single time. Ten of those. When you get done with those 10 squat thrusters, you got sumo deadlifts for the rest of the time. Wide stance, toes flared out to the side, leaning forward. Again, you're hinging in your hips. You're not rolling your lower back forward. You shouldn't look like a camel when you do this. That lower back should be nice and flat. Allow it to pull through your hamstrings. Five seconds, keep going. Nice, warrior two pose one more time. 
Putting that toe facing forward, bending that knee, back leg straight, foot in the new back leg, back foot should be in a neutral position, sinking over that front knee. Arms extended out in front of you. You hold the that for another seven seconds. You got this. Hold it there. Don't stop early. Nice work. One minute rest. I'll swap the boards out and come back in one second. All right, here is the next board. We're gonna start with an Arnold press. This is, some of you might not know what this is. So Arnold press is basically a rotational shoulder press. So what you're gonna do is you can start with that elbow up high with that dumbbell in your hands, and you're gonna rotate and press up in the air, okay? And you're bringing that elbow in front of you every single time. So this is like a rotational shoulder press, but we call it an Arnold press. Yes, that Arnold. 10 on each side, then you need, uh, then you're gonna do a one arm row, elbow on that thigh again, pulling straight back, 10 on each side, and then overhead tricep for the rest of the time. You might need a lighter weight for this, uh, this set, uh, because it's kind of a harder exercise. So let's try it, let's do this. If you got a lighter, lighter weight, go ahead and grab that. Again, it should take you about 30 seconds each exercise. All right, so with that elbow up high, again, you're gonna rotate and press up. Bring that elbow back in front of you every single time. So it's a rotational shoulder press. You're gonna do 10 on each side. I have no idea when they started calling it an Arnold press. It's just his thing, so it just sticks. Rotational shoulder press sounds stupid anyways. Get 10 on each side. Again, these should take you about 30 seconds per exercise. If it takes you a little bit more or less, that's okay. Just get an idea of how you should pace these. Uh, and then when you're done with those Arnold presses, you're gonna do a one arm row, 10 on each side. Again, put that elbow on your thigh, pull it straight back. Get nice, full extensions. Let that elbow fully extend and then pull it all the way back into your body. 10 on each side. When you're doing these one arm rows, you should be squeezing your shoulder blades together, really feeling it in your back. Just don't turn it into an arm exercise every single time. You shouldn't be curling that way. It should be a row, so you pull it back towards you. When you're done with those rows, you get that overhead tricep extension for the rest of the time. Full extension again, lock those elbows out. Doing that for another 10 seconds, and then we're gonna be in a chair pose. Keep going, two seconds, all the way to the end. Nice work, put your weight down. You can do a chair pose. Feet together, butt down, chest up. Sink down into that chair pose position. Again, arms are gonna be up on your, you're gonna put your biceps on your ears. Full extension, keep your chest up, holding that for 30 seconds. I know those legs are starting to feel nice and crispy, but hey, it's a workout. It's a Joe Fitness workout. We're gonna, like, what's a workout if I don't blast your legs? I mean, come on. Hold that for another two seconds. Nice work, grab that dumbbell again, Arnold press. Start that elbow up high again, rotate up above your head, full extension, bring that elbow back in front of you every single time. You have 10 on each side. When you get 10 on each side, you get those one arm rows. Again, let that elbow fully extend, pull that dumbbell into your side every single time. You should be, when you're pulling that dumbbell back, you should be squeezing that shoulder blade into the other side. It should be you should be feeling it in your, your upper back when you do these one arm rows. It's just not an arm exercise, it is a back exercise. When you get 10 of those, you got those tricep extensions. Holding the dumbbell, two hands, bringing it behind your head, full extension above your head. Fifteen seconds, keep going. You got this all the way. Five seconds, keep pushing it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, put that dumbbell down, chair pose. Feet together, get your butt down. 
chest up, biceps on your ears, full extension in your arms. Sink down into that chair pose. 15 seconds. Come on, let's see how low you can get there. Don't let that chest drop though. Get your butt down, keep your chest up. Sink down into that pose. You got this. Three seconds, two, one. Nice, grab that dumbbell, Arnold press. Keeping that elbow in front of you, rotating out, pressing up above your head. 10 on each side. When you get 10 on each side, you got one arm row, 10 on each side for those. Letting that arm full extend every single time, pulling it into your side, pulling your shoulder blade in. When you get 10 on those, you got an overhead tricep extension. But no rush, again, each exercise should take you about 30 seconds, plus or minus five seconds or so. Adjust the weights as needed, you're doing just fine. Get those overhead tricep extensions, remember, above your head, full extension above your head. Lock those elbows out every single time. Bringing it back down, you got 15 seconds, keep going. Go all the way to the end, nice work. Good job, chair pose, feet together, butt down, chest up, arms up in your biceps, or put your, bi yeah, your arms are on your biceps. Uh, whoa. Put your biceps on your ears. It's Monday when I'm filming this. Sink down, nice and low, full extension of your arms. Let's see it. Five seconds, hold it there. Do not stop early. Nice work. Auto press, one more time. Last round, get that elbow up high, pressing up above your head, doing a rotational shoulder press. Let's see it. When you get 10 on each side, you got those one arm rows. Put your opposite elbow on your knee or put your elbow on your thigh. Let that other arm drape down. You can pull straight back. Squeeze your back muscles as you pull that dumbbell into your side. 10 on each side. When you get done with those, you got about 27 seconds left. You got those over set, overhead tricep extensions. Extending, full extension above your head. Lock those elbows out every single time. Ten seconds, keep going. All the way to the end, nice work, chair pose one more time. Feet together, butt down, chest up, arms up on your ears, sink down into that chair pose. Nice and low, don't let that chest drop to your knees though. Keep that chest up, breathe, take deep breath and then sink down into it. You got this, 10 seconds. Hold it there, five, Nice work, catch your breath, grab some water. I'll swap the board back, swap the boards out and I'll be back in a second. All right, here is your third board. We're gonna start with a snatch. Start that dumbbell on the ground, one movement all the way up above your head, set it down, switch hands, 10 of those. And then you have side lunges. Uh, you're gonna hold the dumbbell, hold the one end of the dumbbell and then you're gonna touch the other end of the dumbbell on the ground when you do those side lunges. 
touch it on the inside of your foot. Do all 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other. Remember to keep your chest up when you're doing those lunges. Get your chest up, butt down. Single leg deadlifts to do that for the rest of the time on the top part of the board. You're gonna alternate sides for that. And then you got that warrior three pose. Warrior three is on one leg, full extension out in front of you. You got that, just like my little stick figure. You got this, let's go. Third board, snatches, stud dud dumbbell on the ground. Full extension above your head, set it down, switch hands. 10 of those, again, each of these exercises should take you about 30 seconds or so. 10 snatches might be a little quick for that, but that's okay. Grab a heavier weight. Set that dumbbell down, switch hands. It drives me crazy when people switch their hands before they set the dumbbell down. So, set it down on the ground, then switch your hands, do it, snatch. When you get 10 of those, side lunges. 10 on each side, hold that dumbbell about one end of the dumbbell, touch the other end on the ground. You're gonna touch it on the inside of your foot. Remember, when you're doing these side lunges, do not lean forward, okay? It's a squat, it's more of a squat than it is an actual, like, any, anything else. It's side squat, whatever. Get your butt down, keep your chest up, touch the dumbbell on the ground. You should be looking at the wall every single time, not the floor. 10 on each side. This is gonna take you a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but that's okay, the snatches are a little quick. So, when you get done with those 10 side lunges, you got single leg deadlifts. Remember, you're gonna hold the dumbbell with two hands, lunge forward, hinge forward, alternate sides. Hold that for the rest of the time. Let's go, five seconds, single leg deadlifts. Now you got that warrior three pose, one foot on the ground, full extension, let's go. I see you, Monty, you can do this. Big guys do yoga too. Let's go, full extension, extend from your fingertips to your toes, you should try to stretch that line out, flatten out like a table. Let's see it. Nice work. Grab that dumbbell, snatches again. Dumbbell on the ground, full extension above your head, set it down, switch hands. Make sure you lock that elbow out when you have full extension above your head. Get a good rep every single time. Once you get 10 snatches, you got those side lunges. Touch that dumbbell on the ground. Again, get your butt down, bend that knee. Butt should be down, chest should be up. You should be looking at your wall. You shouldn't be looking at the floor when you do these. The only way to get better at these is to do more of them. So keep going, get that butt down. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. I know your legs are starting to get fried. That's okay, we're almost done. We only have five minutes left in this workout. Let's go. When you get 10 on each side, you got single leg deadlifts. Again, hold that dumbbell with two hands, hinging forward. Should be nice and straight, there should be a straight line from your shoulders all the way to your toes when you're doing these single leg deadlifts. Switch feet every single time. Make sure you stand up every time you do these single leg deadlifts. You don't just like switch your feet when you're leaning forward. Nice, warrior pose, other leg. You guys are gonna find with these warrior pose, this balance, you're gonna have a really good leg and you're gonna have an awkward leg. So that's okay, that's normal. So if you're standing on your awkward leg right now, that's all right. Again, try to full extension from your fingertips to your toes. You wanna stretch that out as long as you can. Point that toe, extend those fingertips as much as you can. Hold that there for another three seconds. Nice work. Two down, two to go, let's go. Snatches. Dumbbell on the ground, full extension above your head. This is an explosive exercise, so explode off the ground. Launch that dumbbell up in the air. Do not let go of it. Don't hit your ceiling or the door frame. I don't wanna hear of any injuries at home when you're doing this. 10 of those. When you're done with those, you got those side lunges.
Again, uh, I know I'm getting annoying about this, but butt down, chest up, you're starting to get tired. You're gonna start wanting to do some lazy reps. Don't do that, come on. Let's go, butt down, chest up, touch that dumbbell on the ground. You should be looking at the wall or facing the wall when you're in that side lunge position. Face shouldn't be down to the ground. Let's go, you got this. 30 seconds left in this round. When you're done with those side lunges, you got single leg deadlifts. Again, stay nice and stiff in your legs. It should be a straight line from your shoulders all the way down to your heel. Alternate sides. Make sure you stand up tall between reps on these single leg deadlifts. I see too many people that'll do a single leg deadlift and then don't, they don't even stand up. Don't do, don't do that. Don't be that person. When you come back, when you're back into the gym, don't let me like eyeball you and say like you're doing that wrong. Let's go. Let's get good at these. Nice. Warrior pose. Extend them from your fingertips to your toes, pointing that toes straight back, fingertips out front of you, leaning forward. This one, you are looking at the ground when you're doing these. Hold that for 10 seconds. I know those legs are getting tired. But you got this. We got two minutes left. Two minutes and we're all done. Snatches, one more time. Set that dumbbell on the ground, full extension above your head, set it down, switch hands. You got 10 of those, you're gonna alternate sides. When you get done with those snatches, you got those side lunges. Grabbing that dumbbell by one end, touching the dumbbell on the ground, the opposite end of the dumbbell. Do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Make sure you get that butt down, chest up. In that side lunge position, touching that dumbbell on the inside of your foot. You should be facing the wall when you're in that lunge position. You have about 30 seconds left in this round. Get done with those side lunges and your single leg deadlift in. The rest of the time, hold that dumbbell with two hands, alternating legs. Nice, stiff, straight line between your shoulders and your heel. Hinging forward, keeping that leg on the ground straight. Get down as far as you can. Make sure you stand up tall between those reps. Doing that for another five seconds. Let's go, you got this. You got this. Nice, warrior pose one more time. You're probably doing your awkward leg now, that's okay. You only got 22 seconds left, let's go. Fully extend those arms. Push those fingertips out, push that toe out. 10 seconds. Hold it there. Let's go all the way to the last beep. Let's see it. Nice work. Catch your breath. Grab some water. I'll swap the board out with the finisher and then we'll be all done. All right, here is your finisher. You're gonna end with five frog lifts and five butterfly sit-ups. Remember, the butterfly sit-ups and the frog lifts, the soles of your feet, the bottom of your feet are together. Your, no, your uh, knees are flared out to the side and then with the frog lift, you're doing a hip lift in that position. So soles of your feet together, pushing your hips out to the side. Keep your head up off the ground for these that helps save that lower back. You're gonna do five of those and then you're gonna do five butterfly sit-ups. The butterfly sit-up, touch the floor behind your head and then you're gonna sit up and touch the floor in front of your feet. Doing five reps of those, doing those two for five rounds. Hey, get your finisher done. Good job today. Let me know how it went in the comments on the Facebook posts below. Give me a big thumbs up if you did this workout. Uh, hey, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. That way you get alerts when I do upload these workouts. I do upload them a few days before I post them on Facebook so that way you guys can get a head start if you really wanted to. So subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. That's it, good job today. See you next time.